Hello, everyone. Konnichiwa, konbangwa, depending on which part of the world you're from. Ladies and gentlemen, we are now at the headquarters of the Miss International Organization here at the Miss Perry office in Tokyo. And today we have a very, very special guest. One reason why she is very special because she's like the first one to be crowned as Miss International National Delegate. And she's none other than the very beautiful delegate from Mexico. Please welcome the beautiful Juridia Duran. And here she is. Hi. Hi. Hello. How are you? Hello. Look at look at these people commenting right away. Viva Mexico. Oh, thank you so Viva much. Viva Nayarit. <laughs> Viva Nayarit. Viva Mexico. <laughs> yes. Oh wow. This is gonna so be very to exciting. Um, now, uh, yes. Since you are the the main one here, Miss International Mexico, Yulia Duran. Yay. <laughs> Welcome. Thank you very much for joining us, Juridia. It's really a pleasure. Thank you so uh, it's much. It's been more than a year. Yes, it's so important. Thank you so much for the opportunity for being here. I'm so excited to share more about me. Nice to meet you, Stefan. <laughs> yeah, it's really nice to meet you. Um, I first heard about you when you became Miss International Mexico last year, and it was uh, Marien Velasco who was there as a special guest, and she crowned you as Miss International Mexico. So um, it's, it's really sad that we don't have the Miss International this year, so your reign is extended for another year. It's like two years in the running. But I just want, want to tell our audience, first and foremost, that our delegate here from Mex Mexico, from Mexico, is only 21 years old. So when you won last year, you were 20. Very, very young. And she is now in her sixth semester studying or majoring in odontology. Wow. Um, first, um, I want to know, what, why did you choose to study odontology? OK, there's a long story because I, I choose odontology. A lot of family members of my family, of course, are uh -huh. dentists. So mm -hmm. since I was 18, I, I think, I used to be enrolled in odontology. I remember that when I was on vacations, my cousins and aunts hit, hit me, hidden me to be the secretary. And I remember myself helping my, my family to bring the patients to the office, dental office. And another reason is because my, my brother is dentist as well. Mm -hmm. So I've been involved in, in that, in odontology. And I always know, I, do, I always knew that I wanted to, to be dentist. It is a, a career that I like so much and it, it has been so regarding for me. So it is really something that has been a part of your lifestyle, a part of your family. It's like a family legacy being in the dentistry. Yes, there's a lot of people in my family that they are dentists. I think six or seven family members, they are dentists. Oh, wow. <laughs> it's quite interesting because I think Nebai also was, in, was a dentist yes. Yes, two years yes. ago. So no wonder you Mexicans have this perfect teeth and perfect smile every time I meet them. <laughs> <laughs> and not only not only beauty queens, I have to speak about the Mexicans that I have met here. The the normal students, for example, um, exchange student from Mexico. Normally, they have really perfect smiles. So I guess it has something to do with you Mexicans really taking care of your teeth properly. <laughs> yeah, we we as uh, students we practice with each other, and we mm -hmm. did things to our friends. So there is real, there is this very high um, dental aptitude, if if that is right. Like, by the way, um, just want to remind remind our reader, um, no, our viewers right now that English is not our first language. We're just trying our best here to communicate. Um, Julia's first language is Spanish. My first language is definitely not English. So we're just trying our best here to communicate with everyone in the world since the Miss International Organization's official language is English. And uh, um, speaking of your of your studies, um, let's get a little bit serious. Speaking of your um, studies in uh, dentistry, you have actually um, 
used your 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 expertise or your knowledge with your um, foundation that you have opened. It's called the Bibalor, and um, well, this is this is a little bit different from the one that we have been doing, which is uh, helping um, kids get surgeries with like the ones with cleft palate. So you are involved with uh, it's like the Operation Smile, sort of, so to speak, like um, helping kids um, in their surgery with, if they have cleft lip. Yeah, because I have a cousin who has cleft lip, and uh, I know I've seen the struggle. And uh, well, she's living a very healthy and normal life right now. So why, why, why did you get involved with that one? Yeah, it has been throughout my career. I have had the opportunity to participate in different altruist campaigns, which is about help people who born, help kids, especially who born with these diseases. And it is altruist campaigns, and I think it has been it has been so so regarding for me because I has been into the surgeries, helping the doctors to do these procedures to help people. And mm -hmm. what can what, what what else can I see? Can I ask about it? So it has been so happy for me, and throughout my career, I have discovered many things that help help me as person as a person yeah it is really a very noble thing to help because some some uh, people could not afford to actually do the surgery to to fix the cleft lip but cleft yeah lip. It's great that you are involved with that one and uh, i mentioned viva law a while ago but this is a totally different foundation because this is a foundation that helped kids discover their fullest potential when when did you when did you open this uh, foundation? It was two years ago. Mm -hmm. It born from a personal worry because I grew up in a small town here in Nayarit. So when I was young, I I didn't have the opportunity to discover my my potential. I had to travel mm -hmm. to another city to look what I was well in, you know. So I created mm -hmm. this foundation because when I went back to my to my town, I knew that there wasn't the tools for the kids to for they discover their potential. So another important thing of this is that we are we don't have uh, the good values here in Mexico as society. So we are focused on that to help he, kids to practicing their values in everyday basis. So this is both the, we practice both in our or mission as a Bible Lord Foundation. And we are a group of eight people working so hard in this. We are planning in the future to, to have a, a base place where kids can go to learn how to sing, how to paint, how to learn, how to be, speak a, a, a language, uh, to be a part of a sport or practice, play, play basketball, soccer, Mm, what else? To sing, I mentioned this before, and another abilities that could help kids in the future to become better human beings. That's great. That's really amazing. And um, very interesting that you mentioned basketball before soccer. Is basketball more popular than soccer in your hometown? In Mexico, <laughs> no. I think soccer is more popular here. We are passionate <laughs> yeah. in that uh, sport. When I was in, in high school, I played basketball, but here in Mexico is more popular soccer. <laughs> yeah, it looks like it. Um, I've seen this photo somewhere. It's uh, Ooh, yes, Atlanta. It's, yes. it's your hometown. It's very beautiful, so colorful. Thank you so can, much. Can you share something that's about your beautiful hometown? Yes, that's my, my hometown. And there is a church and the park, the main park of my hometown. It's so mm -hmm. special for me to you to put this picture here because I grew up there. I run in the streets when I was a kid and it's so, so special for me. One day I'm gonna take all the organization of Miss International to meet my hometown. It's so special. Mexico. Mexico, Mexico is one place that I would really love to visit one day. It's um, it's uh, it's just so special. So many people are telling me they have to go there, and 
yeah, it's just so colorful. The culture is amazing. And I'm pretty sure that the Mexican food, the tacos and the burritos <laughs> are just the best in the world. Yeah, that's really, that's really, there are a lot of traditional food here. I'm sure and it's a very food. big country. Yeah, it's a huge it's country. A it's very different. North, South, the coastal area, Pacific Coast, the Caribbean area. It's just it's really one place that I would love to visit someday. Have you ever been in Mexico before? No, I've only been to the United States, but uh, I would love to visit Mexico one day. Uh -huh. That is this this one realization that I have made with this COVID thing that I kept on postponing and postponing traveling to wonderful countries wherein I got invited to visit. So I know that the Mexicans are really amazing people, and uh, they. I think if I go to Mexico, people would think that I'm also Mexican. <laughs> if I just, uh, if I just don't speak. In Mexico, of course, you should visit Mexico. And will you, if you went here, if you come here, Andrea and I will be your guide, your tourist. Oh, guide. That, that would be great. <laughs> Thank you so much. And a lot, actually, a lot of Mexican former Miss International of Mexico have been friends with me on Facebook and on Instagram. So I will contact them as well oh, yes. it's okay. <laughs> yeah it's silly it's so uh it's really one one place that i would have I would i should have visited before but i really regret that i didn't so yeah it gives me more reason right now to to go and visit your country now speaking of mexico because i have uh, i have been checking on the news lately about your country and uh, just like my home country, which is the Philippines, we are not really in a very good situation right now when it comes to COVID and political situations and social situations. But I don't want to dwell on the political side or let's say on the very sensitive side, but I just want to touch a little bit about the thing that I heard regarding this legislation in Mexico where it says that they are going to prohibit or to stop or to ban any form of pageantry in your country, which personally for me was a shock because Mexico is such a big country and big country in pageantry. So I yeah. wasn't expecting that um, a politician would go up to that height to actually make a legislation to totally stop um, beauty pageants in your country. I just want to know your opinion about it. Yes, in the last July, uh, Congresswoman elaborate uh, leg legislation to ban beauty contests here in Mexico. And she assures that beauty contests promote symbolic violence against mm. women. So in my mm. opinion, I would like to, to say, based on my experience into beauty contests, that beauty contests have given me the opportunity to discover myself, to challenge myself, to prove myself mm -hmm. what I'm capable of, to reach my self-discipline, to work hard. And it has been so, so good for me because I'm not the same woman as I was a couple years ago. And mm -hmm. I personally think that politicians have a lot of things to focus on, really problems that we have here in Mexico, such as another kind of violence or give people better life opportunities so they don't have to move to another country as an immigrant. So we have bigger problems that politicians could focus on. So I totally disagree with this legislation because we, mm. me, as a beauty queen, I can share with all of you that beauty contest has empowered myself. That's actually true because we have just shared a while ago regarding your advocacy, your your charity work with the cleft palate um, surgery, and also with the uh, valor. You know the yes. the one that you've been doing in your hometown, helping kids reach their full potential. So, if um, if people are really afraid of violence against women. Well, I'm pretty sure that that there are so many so many uh, other situations wow. where in violence against women are also happening, yes, such as not only workplace. Against women. Not only against women, we have violence against kids, kids, boys. So uh, different kinds of, of violence or different problems that politicians should focus on. Hmm. There's more. I do agree. 
Yeah, I agree with you, Jerry Jerry. It's really smart of you to have, yeah, have shared that one because yeah, because that's exact, that's also the same thing. You just reminded me about, oh yeah, that's true. There are also violence against boys, against uh, men that are happening in the country. So if they think that beauty pageant is like that, then they should also think that they should also stop other things such as you know, let's say, for example, sports, because there's also violence towards kids yeah, in sport. Girls use uh, skirts or different things to wear that it could be possible to to generate violence. So there's another thing that politicians should focus, as well as give better health services and education, a lot of things that we can focus on as a society too, because we always say, oh no, it's their, their fault, it's the fault of politicians. And we as a society mm -hmm. have to to make the difference, you know, not only the politicians. Yeah. Well, there is this um, person who actually said something, um, let's say, um, I'm going to show some comments that we have here. It's amazing how Juridia has learned the English language oh, from Sam Heribai. Thank, thank you, Sam. Your English is amazing. You know, it's thank part you. of your... I, did you study I some somewhere? things to work on, but I think I have time. The, last, the next year, I will, it will be better, I promise you. <laughs> no, it's, uh, it's, it's great. I'm, I'm so happy that you are really trying your best with uh, the English language. It was the same with me. I'm also trying with the English language. And uh, although it's not my first or my primary language, there is also another one here. Oh, we have the same family name. His name is David Diaz. She's amazing. Juridia have to win this year or the next. When will be Miss International? Oh, when is Miss International? It's going to be next year. So watch out for it, Mexico. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much for your support, guys. You are so important for me to keep preparing myself and to do my best every day. You are, I think you're, you are my biggest motivation every day to stand up and keep preparing myself. Yeah, I do admire the fact that it's been a long time. I know it's really exhausting to wait for your time to go and compete abroad because you were crowned last year around what, 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 June or July? June. June. It was June, and then the whole COVID thing happened, so you have to postpone it again for next year. So it's really a very long wait, and I really admire the fact that you have stood, and you have been resilient, and you you remain you remain um, um, humble. You know, I, I I've been following your your um, Instagram account, and it's uh, it's and your Facebook account as well. So I see that you are that there is this hunger and spirit to really make an impact to the lives of, of a lot of people. And that's what beauty queens do. That's why we need to have we need to keep beauty pageants, right? Yes, yes, of course. <laughs> Let, let's read some more comments in here because um I, I wish I could understand Spanish so that I could put some in here. Um Um, I don't know. If the, I, I'm not sure if this is going to be a good one. Hola, querida hermosa México, va fuerte por de peluche. I don't even know what it means, but from Andrea. Gracias, Andrea. Andres, I'm sorry. Andres. Andres de Loya Castro. Hi, Juridia. Beautiful Juridia. Mexico will go strong to. Oh, win great. <laughs> She great, is, great message. You mentioned to the crown of Miss International. Uh, <laughs> I love your gracias, Spanish. Andres. You so well. <laughs> <laughs> <What did you? laughs> okay, there, 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 there's, there's another one here. I, I hope I can, I can say it properly. From Sam Garibay again. I think he was, he was here a while ago. Reina Jurida, wow, te felicito de verdad. Es super impresionante tu manejo del idioma inglés. That's the thing he said a while ago um, in, in English. You're doing well. <laughs> this, is, this is going to be my Spanish lesson. <laughs> um, thank you so much to all the Mexicans who are here. They have so many um, people who are who are following you. Um, there's even one from Guatemala. 
Um, let's see this one. I'm not sure. La Mexico Pollo desde Guatemala. Is it right? Yes. He Walter Hernandez. Supporting me from Guatemala. Guatemala. Wow. <laughs> now we are we are very international, right? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much, guys. Um, I really appreciate the fact that, uh, you know, Jurija is here today. She's, share, she's sharing with us her thoughts about the Miss International Beauty Pageant. And um, we'll probably read one more comment here. Um, let's see, um, from Jose Luis Garcia. Mexico, Jurija, tu eres hermosa y te apoyamos todos los mexicanos. <laughs> oh gosh. It's Mexico, Yuridia, you are beautiful, Yuridia. We support you. All Mexicans support you. He's what. Oh gosh. Thank you so much, Mega. Please support Yuridia. Please support <laughs> her journey to the Mid International Beauty Pageant. Thank you so much for joining us right today. Um, if you have any Last message to your to your fans, uh, Juridia. Please share your message to them. You can speak in Spanish. It's totally fine. Okay, okay I'm gonna speak Spanish. Bueno, quiero agradecer chicos de verdad que están aquí apoyándome, que ustedes nunca faltan en todos los propósitos que yo tengo. De verdad que les agradezco con todo mi corazón su apoyo. Es súper importante para mí. Me sigo preparando arduamente para realmente hacer un excelente trabajo en Miss International, así que nos queda un año de preparación, lo vamos a hacer muy bien, y pues con su apoyo todo es posible, los quiero y les mando muchos besos. Thank you very much. Once again, Juridia Duran, our special guest from Mexico, Miss International Mexico 2019, Miss International Mexico 2020, Miss International 2021. <laughs> Three years. <laughs> Three years. Okay, guys, thank you so much for, for watching us. Um, follow us on Instagram um, at Miss International Official. Follow us on our Twitter account as well at Miss Interorg and our Facebook account at Mr. Miss International BP. And of course, please follow our Miss International Mexico her, with our Instagram account, her um, Facebook account. Don't forget to follow our next uh, edition of Miss International Live. Please comment below who you want to be interviewed next time. Muchas gracias. Thank you so much, Stephen, for your time. See you the next year. See you next year, yes. Thank you so much.